It's over 9,000, it is. Again, yeah, I've been playing this Dragon Ball card game. I spent all day yesterday playing it. Well, look, prepare yourselves for a flash bomb. You guys are not ready for this? Oh my god, what is that? Oh my lord, bro, whose bright idea was that? Who, who flash bombs you whenever you open a game? I'm just set the Dragon Ball Super Fusion. Okay, this guy's level 20, and he's in, in intense training, so... Again, he's probably better than us, because he has, he has a pay-to-win skin. That means he actually spends money on this game, unlike me. Uh, he's playing Gohan. I have no... Man, my hands are bad. I There's a lot of cards I only have as two ofs that I need to have as more ofs. Alright, we're going second here, which I don't mind. This is not a great hand, but it's not a bad hand. It's actually a playable hand. There are certain cards I really wish I had right now, but... So we need to, we need to somehow accelerate our hand. Uh, let's play Wiss. Let's discard Wiss. I'll develop this guy, because this guy is just super strong. Every turn I can make something lose 5k. He only spent money on skins, really. Surely he only spent money on skins. But yeah, there's no way he spent money on, on booster packs. It's only skins. All right. We're going to develop Vegeta next. Vegeta also has Critical, which means whenever he does damage to you, you don't draw a card. Critical is a very strong card advantage kind of thing. Now, Vegeta doesn't hit for much damage, unfortunately. We almost never want to attack, because we want to get to level... Um... This, by the way, is the strongest deck in the game at the moment. Uh, Young Gohan is uh, the strongest deck in the game by far. Childhood Gohan is, uh, is nuts. Only getting rid of my boy here. Play Vegeta. Confirm. Vegeta will attack. Is this free card advantage? He can buff himself, which is really good, which means he wastes. Wait, what did he do? Huh? Oh, when you use this card in combo from your hand, this card gets plus 10 key. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. He used a really big combo card. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Looks like a cash grab. Kind of. Dude, he just spent two combo cards. Wow. Okay. Two big combo cards. I mean, maybe he doesn't need them. Alright. So, currently, we have a l we have card advantage at the moment. We need, to get to, we need to get to four life, though, in order to control his board properly. Because we are a control deck. We need to get to uh, four life. I could buff him with Frieza. The problem is once Gohan levels, Gohan has 20k. I think I buff with Frieza here. No, because he'll just play another unit and kill it. If he develops, he'll just play and kill it again. I don't want to have to double buff the unit. It's not worth it. Let's get rid of... Um, maybe get rid of my son Goku. Because I think I prefer to play him instead. Sangoku's 30k though, 25k. Right. Develop here. Lose an HP to draw a card. Yes, please. Another one, and we will attack with you. This is a ramp deck, by the way. A green deck's a ramp. So I could attack with this, but I currently don't want him to ramp quite yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on a little bit. I could just try to rush him down with this card. Maybe that was the right play. I I regret it. I should have attacked with it. I should have attacked. But I also want him to attack me in face because now I level up with Android uh one more Android 17 I can level. Higher power means attack to go through. Uh uh, when you're attacking, same power means the attack goes through. Alright. This actually just dies. Guaranteed. He actually leveled me. That's really good for us. I'm going to take the hit. I like leveling here. Uh, the reason I like leveling here is because I don't have to use this card anymore to level myself. Because I was going to try to level up no matter what. Now I have guaranteed level up. So... This is, a, this is probably the worst matchup possible that I have. I don't think there's a worse matchup. So this is guaranteed dead, by the way. Uh, I want 5 mana. I, I want to push for Gohan here, probably. 
Yeah. Let's uh let's discard this guy. Let's develop Gohan. I'll develop Gohan here. I'll use my skill to lower this down to whatever. I'll attack with critical, I think. I, I just don't want him to draw. I don't want him to find his win cons. He has a lot of dangerous win cons here, which are scary as hell. So I, I don't want him to find those. He goes crazy on a lot. Six to eight. Once he gets to six to eight mana, he goes insane. Let's attack with everything now. I'm going to take with him as well. Actually, no. Yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. We want to push Gohan's life as much as possible. Is he misplaying? Him, I think a little bit, yes. It depends on his hand. Keep in mind, every time he takes damage from a non-critical source... If he takes damage from a non-critical source, he, uh, he, he draws a card. I have a lot of critical sources of damage. Like, this is critical at the moment. Like, if he buffs himself now, it's a huge misplay. You never buff here. Is it more complicated than lore? It's different. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buff this with... Uh, by the way, whenever he attacks, he does 10,000 damage to anybody else. So this insta-dies. He, he only needs to play one card to stop the critical from hitting. So it's actually worth discarding this to force him to play two cards or a super combo to buff him just a little bit of 30k, because now he has to buff by 15k to survive the critical. He does not want to take critical damage. He wants to draw. So he has to have another super combo, which he's out of, I think. I think he spent already two super combo cards. Critical damage is like the best kind of damage because you don't draw when you take it. See? He played one. Oh, damn. He had a spell. All right, that's fine. Hey, thank you for the sub there, Happiest Chihuahua. Two years of support. And now we are... We're soon going to be in trouble. He's at five mana. Once he gets... Like, once he, once he levels up, he can level whenever he wants. Draw one card. It's fine. I can also level whenever I want. It's super different mechanic, yes. Thank you for two years, Chihuahua. Thanks, buddy. What does leveling do? It changes your champion and the way it plays. Like, when mine levels, I get an ability to do 10k damage to anything per turn. When he levels up, he gets basically, um... I'll show you here. When he levels up, he can change one of his mana into, into a 15k buff for the battle. This card, I need to kill it. This card, if I don't kill it, I lose the game. I'm not even joking. Like, this card is the god card. You can't beat this card. Uh, this is this is his entire combo maker. Also, I really need to keep this alive. So I will do anything in my power to keep it alive. 35. Man, I wish I had super combos on me. Dude, imagine if I had a super combo. Man, my hand sucks. That's such a misplay by him, because if I had a super combo, I'd go to straight to 45, and he's going for 40 here. This card is super good, but... Uh, let's see. I can, I can, I can level up now, just to see what card I draw. Because when you level, you draw a card. This is not a sponsor stream. I was just playing it a lot yesterday. I did not draw a super combo, so I'd have to, like... He's hitting for... I'd have to send two cards to keep this alive. I actually think I will. I think I'm sending it. But then he's gonna attack with this. I'll have, to send, I'll have to spend three cards to keep this alive. Damn, I, I can't do it. It's, it's too many cards. It's too much resources. It's not worth it. This is guaranteed dead. The start of the turn. That noise is annoying. You can, you can lower the volume. He's never attacking because he doesn't want it to die. Spicy draw. That's a really good draw. Um, I actually don't think I change anything into mana now. I'm going to spend my, my coin. This is like a Hearthstone coin you get. So, end phase. This is for 20k, by the way. I need to threaten lethal with this. First thing I'm going to do is attack here. I'm going to... Because it'll draw me a card. So, let's see if this goes through. 
Okay, okay. Chat, I'm going for an all-in. I'm going for an all-in, chat. I don't know if I can hit it. I can go all-in. I don't think it's enough damage, though. I don't think it's enough damage. What rank is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. One, two, three, four, five buffs. It's probably not enough. No, I probably wait. I'm gonna wait here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some time. So this drops us down to ten, and I can finish it off with. Now I will attack with Goku because he's kind of forced to block this, and I'm gonna sacrifice five K combo points because now he has to use a. Uh... He has. To... Oh wait, that was a misplay. Oh my god, I keep throwing. I should have just. No, I threw. I shouldn't have done the 5k there. That was a mistake. Oh, he took the damage. Holy crap. He's going down to one. That's ballsy. That's really ballsy. Alright, he went down to one HP. Uh, now my win con is entirely different. I have a very, very weird win con now. Did not expect him to go down to one HP. He has too many cards for me to be able to kill him with this. I'd rather keep these here as they are. He's on mana he's on mana seven. Android kills off two units for free. I gotta sacrifice this unit. It is what it is. Six mana. This also has a double strike. Whenever it hits base or anything, it hits twice. It hits you two times. So I'm, I'm going to go down to 1 HP here on purpose. I, I need to win next round, I think. I think if I don't win next round, I lose. I need to kill him next round. He might not even attack. We'll see. He might not even attack here. I hope he buffs it. I want to go down to 1 because I want to draw 2 more cards. Come on, buff it. Buff it. He's like, well, he can defend this. Buff. Yes! He buffed. Okay, he wasted one card. We take the hit. We draw two cards. Beerus is very interesting. He doesn't have mana to develop. Okay, so. Now things get interesting. I will open with... Uh, first of all, I don't use any... I want as many combos as possible. I'm not playing this guy, so I might as well change him into mana. Do I change him into mana? I have a couple of ways to win this. I definitely don't need him. Uh, first things first, let's draw a card by attacking. He has the block, so he's not going to draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. So, let's force him to spin a blocker. Okay. Now, he has a lot of ways to buff his champion. There's a very cool mechanic here. I'll show it to you right now. Confirm. This unit, if it kills a unit, it also does one damage to face. So check this out. We play this. We lower it to 25. Confirm. Because he can buff his champion by more. Then... So shouldn't we don't have any more one drop? We play this. We target this, it goes down to 10k. And then we swing onto it with everything. Combo, 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 and we just pray, chat. We pray we got enough, boys! Please! Please, 95k! Come on, baby! 95k versus 10k, there's no way he can go to 95. Because this, when it hits, when it kills a unit, it, it hits face as well. It's over 9,000, it is. I got this. Yes! <laughs> Get right! Woo! He probably had a lot of ways to buff champion, so... Get right!
That's why going down to 1 HP is dangerous. Because you can, you can target the unit instead. Oh yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Victorious. Oh, that felt good, man.